this is kind of a real quick tutorial on the importance of having a surge protector for your RV. Uh, for years, I had a 30-foot pool trailer, which was a 30-amp plug-in, and I used the Progressive Industries 30-amp surge protector, which pretty much worked the same way as it's uh, the 50-amp version does. It was basically, you know, green light good, red light bad. Uh, and then uh, last year I upgraded to a fifth wheel trailer and it was a 50 amp service so we upgraded to the Progressive Industries 50 amp surge protector. Now the difference is uh, with the 50 amp service you have two hot lines coming in that kind of power different things on the trailer. Surge protector monitors both of them. All right, I am not an electrician. I was an electronic technician in the service for a couple years, so I know a little bit about electricity. Probably enough just to be dangerous. So, I will try to dumb this down to the point where even I can understand it. Here we go. Nice and simple. Okay, so what you want to do here is this. You want to attack it to that most vulnerable spot. Come at it from this angle and locate the automatic flip-flop override device here, which in turn will diffuse the anti-gyroscopic pre-interface thrust chamber and the uh, pneumatic centrifugal anti-gravity shield deflectors. Then you simply deactivate the axial gyro pre-sub inertia photomegatronic uh, oscillator that you see here. Huh? All right, so your 30 amp plug-in for the trailer has one hole for ground, has one for hot, one for neutral, All right? So this is your 120 volt and this is neutral. And typically with your 30 amp trailer, which is kind of a smaller trailer with one AC unit, maybe a half refrigerator and some plugins and then enough to power the 12 volt system to keep it charged. It's the same time trailer I had for uh, 10 years when I was camping. The difference between that and your 50 amp trailer is your 50 amp plug-in, if you look at the pedestal, remember these are the pedestals, um, it'll have your ground hole, it'll have a plug-in in here, and a plug-in here, and a plug-in here. And what it is, is that's ground, this is 120, and this is 120, and then this is your neutral. So you can see you have two hot lines coming in. So if you want to figure out the power for each one, Right, so you take the 120 volts times the 30 amps, and that gives you 3,600 watts. That's what that, that plug-in can pull before the breaker trips. Well, with the 50 amp circuit here, if you do the same thing, you get the 120 volts times the 50 amps gives you 6,000, but you have two of them. So you add the 6,000 together, which means that this 50 amp plug-in can pull 12,000 watts. And as you can see, 12,000 watts is much more than the 3,600 watts of the 30 amp. And you would need this larger 50 amp plug-in for the bigger trailers with the multiple air conditioning units on it and the big residential type refrigerator and the multiple appliances and the multiple plugins and again the power of the 12 volt system that's what this is designed for everybody getting this so far open it up make sure the power is off plug it in turn the power on and we get green and blue green means power blue or vice versa we, we got no red so we're good so now, turn it off, plug in the trailer, turn it on, green and blue. So the adapter that can adapt your 50 amp trailer to the 30 amp pedestal, what it does is it plugs into this and then it splits that one hotline into two so that your trailer plugs in to two lines, a line one and a line two, so it'll power everything, all your plugins and everything will work. But the problem is you're not gonna get this 12,000 watts out of this because it's all going through this one 30 amp plug-in. So you're only gonna get the 3600 before you start blowing, start blowing circuit breakers. So when you're using this configuration with this adapter or this converter, 
you have to be aware that you might, if you think you're going to pull multiple AC units, you're going to pop circuit breakers. You kind of have to be, you have to be cautious about what it is you're powering at once. So you put your adapter to go from the 50 to the 30. It splits the 30 amp into two hot lines. And then you can get the green indicator on both lines. You just can't go pull a full 50 amps. In addition to this, they also make another converter that'll convert this 30 amp one down to a 15 amp one so you can plug it in your house. So like when my trailer is at my house parked in my driveway, I have the 50 amp cord from my trailer plugged into the adapter that takes it down to 30 and then I plug that into the other adapter that takes it down to 15 amps that I plug in my garage. So I can basically have power to the trailer when I need it. Now it's not gonna run any AC units or anything like that, but it is gonna keep the batteries charged up and the lights on. And I can turn the refrigerator off and on, you know, when we're getting ready to go or whatever. So these two different adapters and the two different surge protectors will all be linked in the description below. Um, I'm not affiliated with Progressive Industries in any way. These are items I bought myself with my own money. I'm just passing the info on. Do with that what you will. And as always, boys and girls, we will see you out there.